Murray, back from Sydney. Must have been very satisfying racking up another Derby victory with Mongolian Khan. I presume he's gone to the paddock now? Yeah, he came back this morning at uh, on the 3 o'clock flight. He should be in the paddock about now. And Melbourne Cup, the long-term target. Are we likely to see him race in New Zealand in the spring or would it be a case of straight across the Tasman? Probably straight across the Tasman. He's qualified and just joined the lead-ins and hope he gets here safe and sound. And last week we saw Diadem and Sports Illustrated go around in the Queen of the Turf. Are they likely to carry on? Sports Illustrated came back uh, this morning and Diadem, Diadem he stayed there and will probably run in the Phillies race at Scone. Was it just a case of the wet track that tripped her up? Yeah, it tripped both of them up. It was fairly wet there. They just couldn't get traction get going. And closer to home at Ellerslie on the weekend, you've got Sam Miguel lining up in the listed Buffalo & Co. Champagne Stakes. Does he give you every indication that he'll enjoy the step up to 1,600 metres? Uh, we think so and certainly hope so. He's out of a Dan Silly mare, as you know, he's top Sorrow Stars. I think he left the side the Sydney Cup winner on uh, Saturday, so we're hoping he gets citizens. You've also got Can Candy Bell representing the Snable in the Group 2 Valachi Downs Championship Stakes. How do you assess her chances? Uh, well, she's a very promising staying filly. Only had two runs past a mile, won them both by three lengths. Uh, I think she'll be well suited to 2,000 metres. Yeah, like you say, a good performance winning in a high weight company over ground last start. Would she be on trial for a trip to either Adelaide or Brisbane? Possibly Adelaide we've got in the back of our mind, but she'd have to measure up on Saturday. Best of luck. Thank you.